Hello everyone, my name is Rebecca Cafiero and I am so excited to be hosting this call with my dear friend and business partner Mackenzie Arbel, who I'm going to be handing it over to shortly. Um, but for all of you on the call, I just first of all, I want to acknowledge you for taking time out of your busy nights. It's depending on where you are in the world, might be 6 p.m., might be 9 p.m., or you might be watching this on the replay and you're taking time from something else. So I want to just acknowledge you. But what I want to ask everyone here is what in your life are you wanting more of? And hopefully everyone has an answer or multiple answers for that. Um, I know five years ago and I, even today, there's always more that we can have. We can be the most grateful person ever, but we can still be the most dissatisfied. And where in your life are you looking for more? Maybe it's more energy. Maybe it's better sleep. Maybe it's more finances. Maybe it's more purpose, more friendship, more fun, more community, more impact. And what we're going to talk to you about tonight um, really combines all of these things, but starting with health. So I'm going to talk a little bit about that and why we have chosen isogenics as a vehicle for us for having more and how each of you can have the ability, um, depending on what is important to you, to have more in those areas. So like I said, just about five years ago, I was really struggling. I was a busy corporate executive, a road warrior. I was literally on the road about two and a half hours a day. And even though I was really eating clean, I was struggling, number one, just with how I felt. I was exhausted. I would hit the snooze about, I don't know, for 30 minutes in the morning. I would wake up feeling anxious when I finally get out of bed. And I would be nodding off at my computer at two o'clock and I wasn't even a coffee drinker. And you know, in the evenings I collapsed on the couch and I remember thinking, oh my gosh, all I have to do is take care of myself and I can barely function. What do I do someday when I have a family? Like I do now, a little two and a half year old running around. Um, and I did all the things that I knew. I did all the things that I had tried before, like working out and cutting out you know, processed foods and I went dairy and gluten free and all of these things to just feel better and also to have more longevity. Um, and nothing was working and I was really frustrated. And I don't know if any of you have ever been there where you know you want change, but what you're doing just isn't working and you're like, what else? What else do I do? So I had a girlfriend that was having an amazing transformation and was talking about her energy and was talking about releasing some fluffy pounds. And I was four or five months away from my wedding and I was really tired of calorie counting. So I decided to give nutritional rebalancing a try. And I said, I'll try this for 30 days. And if it really works and I'm not hangry, I will, maybe I'll try it for another 30. Guys, five days in, I woke up and I felt clear. I felt like supercharged, but in a really natural way. I noticed that I wasn't craving sugar. I was like powering through 2 p.m. And at night, I was organizing drawers while my husband's like, what are you doing? He's like, I said, hey, I feel so good. He said, yeah, I know. I, you told me five times. I go, I don't think you believe me of how good I feel. So I had always been a nutrition nerd, but I really needed to do a little research to understand like, why was this different than, you know, the, the whole 30 and the raw diet and the cleanses and the colonics and all of these things I had done in the past to feel great and yeah to release a little fluff what was different about this and why did I feel so good and secondly could it continue so I found out a couple of things that nutritional rebalancing answers and really there's three factors and number one is toxins you know we are just bombarded by toxicity in our environment I grew up on a farm in Oregon and as clear as the air is we still ate sometimes iceberg lettuce with ranch dressing growing up, you know? I mean, that darn Hidden Valley is just full of toxins. But whether it's the food that we're eating or it's, you know, the things we're putting on our skin or it's the air we're breathing or it's, you know, the off-gassing of our carpets or our fabrics, there's just areas we're getting bombarded. And even if we eat perfectly, we have to address that toxicity. Um, and toxicity has a lot of signs. It shows up as brain fog, as headaches, as... Um, lack of energy. It shows up as puffiness. It shows up as cravings. There's so many different ways it manifests, but almost every single health complaint out there comes down to toxicity or number two, which is stress. So stress management, that's the second one. And I was really dealing with this one. I was, I was struggling. I should say I wasn't dealing. I was struggling. Um, but stress is number two. So even if you're counting calories and eating the most perfect diet ever, if your stress levels are high, it suppresses what's called human growth hormone. It basically what re regulates our metabolism. And how many of you are stressed? 
whether it's from environmental, well, environmental factors, like your environment, what do you mean, the people around you, the work around you, your finances, like the to-do list on your desk, right? There's just a lot of areas where stress, we do not live in a bubble. And unfortunately, as much as I love meditation, meditation alone is not the only cure all the stress. Most people don't even meditate. Um, so that's the second thing nutritional rebalancing does is by reducing the toxicity that actually creates stress on the body and by using some really incredible um, ancient herbs. And when I say herbs, I don't mean the type that are legal in California. I mean something called adaptogens, which have been used for centuries, but more recently by um, astronauts and by the Russian Olympians when they were winning all the gold medals in the 60s and 70s. But all of this really incredible nutritional science that actually helps the body adapt to stress. So that's two is number one, reducing toxicity. Number two is really helping the body manage stress. It doesn't mean that stress isn't coming from the outside world at us all day long. It's just about how are we able to cope with it? How are we able to deal with it? How do we feel about it? And then number three is dense nutrition. I assume because I was having a vegan protein shake every morning and I was eating raw almonds and I was counting my calories, I assumed that I was getting nourished. And unfortunately, that isn't the case. And let's face it, most people are not eating or drinking smoothies every day already. So I found out that our food source is really nutritionally bankrupt. There was actually a study done by UCLA in 1955, well, they, they showed in 1955 the amount of minerals and nutrients in a bowl of spinach in 1955. And then they redid the study. I believe it was in 1997, I think, um, you know, 22 years later. And what they found is that one bowl of spinach in 1955, to get the same amount of nutrients, you'd have to eat 50, it was over 50 bowls in 1997. And that was still 20 years ago. So imagine now 100 bowls, 80 bowls, what are we at? The point is, is that we are often overeating, but undernourishing. We're focusing on counting calories and not counting our nutrition. So those are the three things I found out about. And as my body rebalanced itself using scientific research and products like, like I said, um, like cleansing, intermittent fasting, and adaptogens, and really amazingly bioavailable nutrition that the body just soaks up, and trace minerals, and all these other things I won't nerd out about, what I realized is that my body was kind of resetting. It was shedding not only the sticky pounds, but also a lot of the kind of ailments, the inflammation. Um, you know, I, I'll have to find my, my really quick, my photo, but I'm 30, I'm almost 39. Um, I'm pregnant with my second baby. And to have, you know, yay, little girl. God, the hormones are, gosh, the hormones are mm, something. Um, but to, you know, have energy at six o'clock at night without, you know, copious amounts of caffeine and to really have amazing ability to nourish my body and not have crazy cravings is such a gift. And I just really quickly, before I turn this over to Kins, I want to share my results from my first, um, this is my first 60 days using nutritional rebalancing with isogenics. Um, I didn't take my face in the photos because I didn't think I'd ever be showing them to anyone, but that was 34 inches of inflammation released them off my body, about 18 pounds. Um, I actually went up in lean muscle mass. And I mean, the cellulite and stuff, that, that was just, that's just getting rid of toxic fat. Um, and then second, you know, I want to talk about long-term use. You know, obviously after 30 days, I went, uh, yes, I feel amazing. And this is going to be part of my life. It's convenient. Like, why would I ever get tired of feeling good? I don't get tired of like taking a shower in the morning or brushing my teeth. So this is just going to become part of my lifestyle. And the amazing thing is that the more that I continue to rebuild my cells with incredible nutrition and to cleanse my body, the more I've reverse aged. So that was me at 32 versus 38. And the crazy part is there's less than five pounds of difference on the scale in between these photos. And that's really the power of nourishing our bodies with the best nutrition. So that's a little bit about the nutrition. Um, just to, to kind of wrap up, um, isogenics or nutritional rebalancing is all gluten-free, soy-free, either vegetarian or vegan food um, that is just designed to nourish the body like the miracle that it is. Um, it is done through a company called Isogenics using referral marketing, which is all word of mouth, and McKinsey's gonna talk a little bit more about that. And you get an online account, kind of like Amazon, unfortunately without the prime shipping, though they do have great shipping deals. And you just order your food for what you need for your goals and your lifestyle. And that is basically it. So I'm going to turn it over to Ken. She's going to share a little bit about her story 
um, her background and how this has been a solution for more in her life in many ways. So Ken's over to you. Amazing. I always love when you share about the products because you are the person that introduced me to Isogenics. And I kind of joke that you would be the only person, which you guys, when Rebecca introduced me to Isogenics, we're total strangers. But I feel like she was the only person that would have ever gotten me to do a cleanse. Um, I'm a Midwestern girl. I'm from Michigan through and through. I was living in Southern California at the time. Uh, just three years ago, I was 23 years old and was uh, working two jobs and then operating a spray tanning business to earn extra income in the pockets of my time to help uh, pay off some major student debt that I had accumulated through my four years in college. And Rebecca found me on Yelp. And what I love about this is the power of referrals, right? Most people that own a business, the most powerful form of marketing is referral or word of mouth. And so she went on Yelp and searched for spray tans and saw that I was organic because she was pregnant for her first with her first baby. And um, that like beautiful chance meeting ended up opening this beautiful door of more in my life, which is what she opened up the call with. You know, what could you have more, you know, more of in your life? Um, so at the time I desperately needed these products. Uh, I had tried different diets, routines to feel good. Um, and you know, when I looked at Isogenics and when it was introduced to me, it was so different from anything I had tried before because it was aiding your body as a system. Um, and so being in the beauty industry, I always kind of align that with skincare, right? When I'm talking to women, sorry for the men on the call, but ladies, when we think about skin and we want to have beautiful glowing skin, or we might have some acne or, you know, whatever it is, we always address our skin as a system, right? We've got our cleanser, we've got our exfoliator, our toner, our moisturizer, and I'm probably missing a few in there. There's, you know, our eye creams, our serums, whatever it is, yeah, <laughs> whatever it is, right? And so when it comes to feeling good and our health and wellness, wellness is, you know, addressing our body in different areas, like stress, dense nutrition, um, thank goodness for isogenics and our cleanses. We're addressing visceral fat on the body, that yellow sticky layer fat that coats the organs. And so when I looked at isogenics, I was like, wow, this sounds amazing. Anything that can burn fat on my body, sign me up. <laughs> so I jumped right in with a 30 day system and I had amazing, amazing results, especially with that busy of a schedule. Um, you know, I needed convenient nutrition. I was eating Subway. I was eating, um, Flaming Hot Cheetos was a go-to snack. That is a crazy, yeah, crazy. And I feel like my face has even changed even more. Um, this is one of my best friends, Lindsay, who ended up getting on the system. And she uses a lot of the athletic line and she qualified for the Boston Marathon. So amazing products for Isogenics and nutrition is amazing. But what got me really excited about Isogenics was the business opportunity we had with these products. So if you were listening to Rebecca before and you're like, wow, this sounds amazing. This is fabulous. I was thinking all those things. And then I was told that there was a business opportunity aligned with Isogenics that I could refer these products to people, get them set up with wholesale accounts, let them shop, you know, guide them through their products. And every time they shopped, I'd get a kickback. A little more complicated. And when I say complicated, more sophisticated, we'll go with the word sophisticated um, and more exciting than that. And so in a day and age where I'm using Amazon Prime and I've got a Costco membership and actually um, like the skincare cream I use is on auto ship. So I have an account and they customize the skincare to me and then they ship it to me um, every month. And I found that through a YouTube ad, right? And then a few girlfriends recommend it to me. In a time where we're using um, online shopping and memberships and social media to share things and influencers, we can be what we like to call impactors and share isogenics and show people how to put optimal nutrition in their body, transform their, truly transform their lives um, with their health, but also wealth. And so uh, I jumped into the business right away and the business is just sharing what you're using. What I loved about this was I, I didn't have to have some big story to share that I was so excited to one day pay off my student debt, which I was able to do. I totally wiped out all my student debt. Um, I was able to pay for my own wedding, which was such a blessing. Um, we are a military family, so we moved over to Florida. We got to live by the beach. All these things that Isogenics opened up to us because we were able, I was able to work really hard and build this residual income and find people that were so excited to either shop my products 
or shop my products and share them, which was such a fun business concept, especially because I had owned a brick and mortar business. And so business was, you know, it was a lot of costs. It was a lot of overhead. It was, if I didn't show up to work that day, I didn't get paid. Um, no matter how good maybe my marketing was, if people, a, a big issue that I ran into in, as a brick and mortar um, business owner was Groupons or um, people kind of hopping and shopping different things, right? So as much as I like to say I did the best spray tan in San Diego, when it came down to if my books were full or I couldn't fit someone in, I lost a customer. So especially think of ladies on the call, sorry to the guys again, but think about how many times you've called your salon or you've walked in to get a nail appointment and they can't fit you in, right? You just go, you go to someone else who can fit you in no matter how much you love them. And so a big thing that I was facing was I was literally having to reject money or turn away money constantly. And I remember thinking like, this sucks. This is, so, this, I have to figure something else out. I have to figure out how I can make money while I sleep. And I don't have to physically be in a specific location to make income. And that is network marketing. That is the power of this industry. And especially with isogenics. So I just got back from a 17 or 18 day trip in Europe with one of my very best friends who I met through isogenics. And um, we got to meet and build up our local UK team in London. And then we did a trip to Paris. And which was so fun for me was, um, you know, it got me reignited. And I talked to a lot of leaders on my team about this. So whether you're, you're using isogen or looking into the opportunity, something that fired me up when I sat three years ago thinking about this business was setting myself financially free and paying off my debt. But then the idea of being able to travel as a young professional something that was really not in the books for me financially or, I mean, I was working three jobs, so I didn't even have time to like spend time with my husband, let alone get up and go travel. And so having the freedom to go and do what I loved and, and exploring and meeting new people, it was, I was so in my element and talking to more people about what do you want to do more of? For me in the moment, in this year, in this chapter of my life, it was traveling. The fact that I get to go travel and meet people and share the gift of isogenics just reignited me for like what this opportunity is. So maybe it's, you know, you're, I talked to a mom today on my team and she was so excited to really set her plan in with isogenics. And we got, we, and we can go over any, you know, any of that with you guys, but you know, she just started crying me on the phone. She said, I can't go back to work. And I was so excited to show her if she put in the work, you know, and really committed to this business for the next five years that she could stay home with her child. Um, we've got Riley on here. So I want her to come out and share her story really quickly, but she's a college student. And she's building this business in the pockets of her time in school, knowing that she's going to leave you know, school with a little bit of debt. And our goal, the second she joined my team, was to work off that debt and be creating an income. And I remember a conversation that we had um, together was, I remembered when I was a student, and I always took internships, and I was very willing to work for free if I could learn from someone who was insanely successful in an area of life or business that I wanted to learn. Something I always ran into was I didn't want to move back home. And uh, a big issue I ran into, and maybe some of you can relate to this, was living in kind of a not, not so great area or not having a vehicle or living in a big city and, and not having the resources, whether it was like running out of grocery money, which totally happened to me, or, you know, whatever it was. And I remember talking to Riley and I said, when you leave college, we're going to be working away that student debt. You're going to have a paycheck coming into your bank account every single week that's going to set you free. But also, no matter you know, what your dreams are, your career aspirations, you're going to have the freedom to move where you want to move and really soar with your career after college because you're working, you know, this income. Also outside the money, you guys, it's the community. It's the skill sets you learn, the things that I've learned, I'm still learning, um, you know, communication and leadership and self-development and building relationships and lots of other fun things on the business side. I never learned in the classroom. So for me to talk to college students or professionals or, you know, people way out of school to be able to learn these skills that weren't taught to them, you know, it trickles into all areas of life. So with that, Rai, can you just come out and share your quick story about product in the business? Yeah. Hi, everybody. Um, my name is Riley. I am a senior at the University of Denver in Colorado. Um, I started Isogenics a little over a year and a half ago, Mackenzie and I actually went to high school together, but I, we didn't know each other. Um, we eventually ended up connecting when I took a year off of school. Um, and I was just in this really stuck place. I needed a solution. So I followed Mackenzie on Instagram um, and saw that she was having a great experience with isogenics, not really knowing what isogenics was at the time. Um, and so I kind of it took me a while to jump in, but after I ended up saying yes, 
um, I had a really amazing product experience. And then after that, it's like what Mackenzie was talking about is we started to think bigger. Um, and so now I'm, like she said, I'm able to earn an income on the side and it's just been um, a super amazing experience. And I'm so blessed to, found, to have found Isogenics and to found Mackenzie because um, it's given me an outlet that I didn't know that was possible to be able to live my life um, better than I ever imagined and without a lot of stress. So, uh, or like financial stress, I guess. Um, and so there's a lot more that I could say, but I don't want to <laughs> take up so much time. But yeah, that's basically just my little thing. So amazing. The, the stories are so powerful. And I think that was, you know, I can hear all the facts and a lot of things I didn't totally understand, like, you know, in the beginning, but hearing people's stories and what they're able to do got me so fired up. And that's, you know, what Rebecca did was she cast a vision for, you know, this is my story, but Mackenzie, what do you need more of? And I remember when she sat with me <laughs> outside the convention center in San Diego, and she said, what amount of income would drastically change your life? Like, what do you need to earn per month or per week that would really, really change your life? And I remember I had never had anyone ask me that kind of question before, ever. Here I was working three jobs, just trying to keep my head above water. Um, and I remember thinking, uh, well, my student loan payment, I can't afford it. And I need $300 a month. And Rebecca said, let's go. And then be able to have that conversation back with Riley. So the trickle effect is so beautiful um, with what we have here. And there's so many, I mean, there's so many amazing leaders on our team. We have so many beautiful stories, so many different missions um, that there's a story for you. There's a person we can connect you with, which is so exciting. But, you know, what's possible here is it's so big. The industry is so amazing. Network marketing is truly, I mean, an incredible vehicle. And there's nothing like it. There's nothing like it where you can build your own income, build a team, you know, you're paid on the value. I always say this, the value you put into the hour, not the hour that you clock in. And so I know for me and a lot of people on our team, you know, it's working this in the pockets of our time. And I do it now full time. Rebecca does it full time. Um, but it was such a big shift for me when I looked at what I could generate, what I could build in the small pockets of my time in those in those years that I was, you know, really working hard with my other job. So um, most people that do this are working this business in the pockets of their time. This is not something like you're coming in committing to this whole big thing. I remember hearing a leader on a call saying, you know, if you want to come in and stick your finger in, put one arm in, put two arm in, two, two arms in or jump, you know, two feet in, there's an opportunity here for you to build something for yourself to have more, whatever that looks like. And we'd love to chat further with you about that. Love it. I just wanted to add something in there because, I mean, obviously I'm so grateful that I met Mackenzie and thank goodness for Yelp. I mean, heck, I get, I get some of the best things in my life for Yelp and I said Jenny's did not come for Yelp, but that's okay. Um, but you know, sometimes it can be really overwhelming and you're like, oh my gosh, leaving your job and all these things. But I just want to encourage everyone on here. Like what would, as Mackenzie said, what would be that one bill? You know, just like start there with that dreaming. Because I know for me, you know, I, I actually, I made great money before I switched in because I was a VP of sales. Um, and so I wasn't financially hurting, but I was hurting for time. I was leaving the house at 7 a.m. I was getting home at 7 p.m. You know, and, and I couldn't, one, I couldn't make any more. I was capped. But I also couldn't physically work anymore. I mean, I was just at my, my ropes in. And my first month, you know, I didn't even think about the opportunity. I was like, I don't have time for anything else. And I figured it out because I love the products and I loved sharing and having that impact. But for me, I, I realized I, I, the number on it was like a thousand dollars a month. It was 400 bucks because that's what I wanted to like spend for a product. And, and everyone, you can spend whatever you want on product. I just do a product junkie. Um, and the other $500 was I wanted to, I, I had a friend that was going through cancer. I was donating a hundred dollars a month. And then when I got my first kind of check, my Sogenic, let me donate 500. And I, that felt so good so good. I was like, I want to do this every month. I want to pay for my products and I want to be able to give my friend $500. And it started there and it quickly rose. So I just want to ask everyone that's on here who has earned anything back by referring Isogenics, can you just pop in the chat bar? Like what's been the top month? What have you earned? Um, cause I want to share just a couple mini stories before I bring everyone out. But, but like Mackenzie said, what is that bill? You know, and if it's a bill, like, let's just imagine, I mean, I, I paid off my car three years early. I was able to pay off my car my fourth month of isogenics, just write a check. Um, but if it's not that, what if it's your, what is it something that's a treat that you have not bought? I bought a Pottery Barn rug and I was so excited. I'm like, I wouldn't have bought this normally because it was, 
I don't know, like nine hundred dollars. I'm like, I can't justify spending nine hundred on an outdoor rug. But then also, what is it doing for others? What could you do for someone else? Um, you know, I was able last year to help with a few other ISA friends. We bought a car for a teenage mom, so she didn't have to ride the bus two hours each way. It was cars that being the theme, you know, being able to buy my housekeeper who is a single mom with four children, a new alternator for a car and not even think about it. You know, those are the things is who in your life would benefit from this outside of you. Cause sometimes we don't do enough for ourselves. We're not motivated enough to change our situation. We might be motivated for someone else, but just some of these stories. So Jessica Venables, who is an incredible nurse on our team. I mean, she is working a crazy, crazy schedule. Her top month, she made an extra $7,000 in isogenics. So guys, again, I don't want to like you to get like the big numbers to scare you, but everything starts with 50 or or $100, right? Riley, college is $1,600. I was putting earlier, can you imagine being in college and working something in the pockets of your time at your own schedule when you have time and not having to be waitressing or bartending on a Friday, Saturday night or working holidays? Um, Alexa, $900, she's three weeks in. She has paid for her products over and over again just in the first few weeks. Mackenzie Garibay, $4,000 a month working a full-time plus job. Um, and Mackenzie, Mackenzie, I met her three jobs. She was scraping to buy. I think you'd made like 30-ish thousand that, that year. No, not even. I was working at a blow dry bar at the front desk for like $9 an hour, oh. working at a medical spa, and then doing spray tans. And her top month, she's been in almost exactly three years, you three years ago this month, or last month. Her top month is 26,000. She basically in one month has earned more than she did working three jobs, crazy hours. And, and the thing I'll say is, you know, my income has been pretty similar, um, a little bit higher than what I made in corporate America, but the difference is my lifestyle. That old schedule of leaving the house at six or seven in the morning, getting home at six or seven at night. You know, I have a two and a half year old and yesterday I dropped him off for school at 9 a.m. And I went and worked nine to three and I picked him back up and I was able to take him to the park after. And, you know, that's the thing for me is like, what, is, what are you wanting more of? And maybe it's more finance, finances. Maybe it's more time. Maybe it's more choice. I mean, health is, is, is the given here. Like you cannot not put isogenics in your body and experience better health. So that, that is just a given. But whatever it is that you're looking for, this you deserve and the people around you deserve for you to look at this. And even if you never, even if you don't even dip the finger in, I promise you having your health be improved not only affects your, your quality of your life, what you put into whatever you're doing, your passion and your purpose is, the clarity, but it also impacts everyone around you. I know that I can't imagine having been a mom before I studied X and life, but I, I know I'm a much better spouse with this in my body. <laughs> And so we just invite you to talk to whoever got you started or whoever invited you. Um, you know, whether you are just looking at healthy, that's fine. That's where it starts. I mean, I was just a product user that fell in love with the products and could not shut my mouth about it. Or whether you are coming in with eyes open like McKinsey did and you're saying, you know what, there's got to be a better way to have the things in my life I want without giving up things that are important. And I don't know of all the things I've looked at, i brick and mortar business owner, um, you know, working in corporate America, of all the things I've ever looked at, I have never seen an opportunity that has more of a level playing field for anyone of any age, of any education, of any background, that the only thing that is really important is your willingness to put your heart and passion to something, your willingness to help others, because we only succeed when we help others, um, you know, both physically as well as from a success standpoint. Um, but you do deserve more, and this could be a phenomenal vehicle to get it. So please, if this just resonated with you, um, we'll upload the recording. Please share, because there are so many people out there that are looking for more, and they may not be saying it, they may not be posting it, because sometimes we're in denial that, that we don't want to think about what we don't know that we can have. And you absolutely can have so much more. Have a great night, everyone.